found a hybrid emits 99% less pollution than regular bulldozers. It's got an electric drive with a diesel engine. And one of the neat things about that is we're finding that the fuel consumption is a lot less. So on the order of 10 to 20 percent. CO2 emissions could help contractors keep up with demanding regulations. Researchers at UC Riverside tested the emissions today for the California Air Resources Board and found the hybrid emits 99 percent less smog-causing substances. They say this is the future of green technology. The ocean-going vessels, the on-road diesel, off-road diesel, light-duty cars, Everything that burns fuel that produces greenhouse gas has to contribute. And this is a very important step going forward. But tonight, a team of scientists are trying to change that and clear the air as well. UC Riverside researchers are helping car makers build engines that get better mileage with less exhaust. NBC4's Inland Empire reporter Craig Figner takes us inside the lab. This diesel engine isn't going anywhere, but it's certainly driving research. This is the heavy-duty world. So in heavy-duty, the engines are made by a manufacturer, and they don't necessarily make the chassis, the, the, the vehicle that it goes in. At UC Riverside, Dr. Kent Johnson leads a team helping to refine engine technology. This is a 10.8-liter um, diesel engine that you would find in a typical um, local delivery type of heavy duty truck. With the diesel engine research and what's happening with this car, they're able to mimic driving conditions not only here, but across the country. In some tests, they take into account the temperature and humidity that cars may be experiencing in other parts of the country. What that's allowing us to find is the conditions of a real world driving. The vehicles and engines are supplied by car makers and UC Riverside shares its research results. From the 1970s emissions have dropped by 99 percent so they're really low. While combustion engines are cleaner than ever it's how the driver drives that can change everything and learning more about that is one huge goal of what is happening here. Jamie, you're a fan of motorcycles, right? Ever since I was 16. Really? They've had motorcycles that long? Here we go. Okay. There is a trend apparently going on where people, including fans of Mythbusters, are trading in their cars and driving motorcycles instead because they believe that's the more environmentally friendly choice. And what's their logic? Their logic is simply that because motorcycles are generally more fuel efficient than cars, they burn less gas and thus they must be better for the environment. Sounds sensible. But there are people that say not only is that not true, they claim that motorcycles pollute far worse than cars. Well, that sounds like something we need to investigate. I well, totally clearly agree. this involves getting a bunch of different cars and motorcycles, testing them and comparing the results, right? Right, but which ones? I mean, there's tens of thousands of makes and models of each. What do we choose? Well, why don't we get some of the most popular models of the last three decades? The representative right. samples, right. We've got a car from the 80s, a car from the 90s, and a car from the noughties. We've also got some motorcycles. We've got one from the 80s, one from the 90s, one from the noughties. We've chosen them based on their popularity within their respective So how decades. are we going to measure our emissions? Well, that's where these guys come in. They're from the Clean Air Technologies Division of Global MRV, and they've brought with them something called the PEMS, or Portable Emissions Measuring System. And basically, you know when you take your car in to get it smogged? Well, that's what the PEMS does, except it's more accurate in its real world because you put it in the vehicle, you stick a probe in the exhaust, you hook it up to the engine, and you drive the car or the motorcycle around for a while, and voila, instant data. Instant data. That is all important for this test. The PEMS will track every kind of emission, including the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide, the smog-causing carbon monoxide, and the nasty oxides of nitrogen. Of driving, we've done three runs with six vehicles and collected 24 separate points of data. Oh, sweet home! There so we go. Some swift consulting, equating, and calculating, the guys have the emissions verdict. After running the numbers and looking at the outputs of pollutant gases from all the vehicles and getting some expert analysis from Professor Kent Johnson of the University of California, Riverside, 
we came up with some In surprising summary, results. we found that motorcycles were more fuel efficient than cars and put out a lot less carbon dioxide, the amount of polluting gases they put out was vastly worse. This myth is about someone that traded their car for a motorcycle because they believed it was better for the environment. And they were wrong. At best, it's a wash. Motorcycles are just as bad for the environment as cars. At worst, they're far worse.